Hey, what's going on everyone? Again, we're going through some of the tutorials for Xcode 4.2 and you probably want to go back to the first or start from there because we're jumping straight into the middle of our project where we're going through some of the basics. And today what we're going to go through is actually adding a background image or an image to the screen, whatever you want as far as pulling in other media forms into your application to make it look clean, to make it look good. So this is what we're going to do. After you've created your three views, now right now we're in the iPhone.storyboard. And again, the storyboard is kind of a collection of all your scenes and your views and everything that uh, is going to be visible on your iPhone or iPad. Now as you can see, we've got a root view controller as our first scene slash view. Then we've got a second one here and then also our first that appears basically first as the, the application shows. Now what I want to signify here and uh, you guys want to make note of is if you open up, if it's not already open, you'll see this little arrow down at the bottom. Go ahead and show the document outline. And this is basically an outline of all the elements within your, your scenes and your views. So as you can see, the very first one here is going to be our first view controller and this is going to be a, an encompassing scene and within the scene we have a couple different elements we've got our first responder we've got our, our view controller and then within our view controller we have our actual view and then within our view we have a label a text view and then also alongside of our view we have a tab bar item that is uh, that is hooked up to our tab bar controller scene which is down a little bit further so that kind of gives you an idea of everything, where it's at, the outline and stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the first view controller and take out this label of my bring back or whatever you guys put in there to start. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab an image. In this case, I'm just going to grab our logo. And I've got it in a PNG form just on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is take and drag that image all the way over to the supporting files on the left and it could be any anywhere within your files over on the left but I'm gonna throw it in the supporting files um, for now so drop it in make sure that you copy the items into the destination groups folder um, because that's gonna store the image within our project so it can reference it whenever it likes and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way over to the right hand side we're gonna make sure that the utility tray is open and you can do that by clicking this button on the far right as far as your view and uh, then we're gonna go through the objects and if you scroll down a little bit I was on it already but uh, if you scroll down you will see an image view object and we are gonna click and drag that onto our screen put it anywhere that you'd like you can make it uh, the size of the screen and uh, throw an image in there that's a background you could throw um, just maybe a little icon or something like that you could you can make it the size is, is limit uh, it's unlimited there so we're gonna take it throw it in the middle of the page and this is where we're gonna throw our logo or our image and so once you've got it on the screen go ahead and click it or select it we're gonna go over the attributes up to the right and then we're gonna see uh, the image placeholder here we're gonna select that and then scroll down until you see the image that you placed in your supporting files which ours is the my bring back logo now as you can see that doesn't look exactly like what our, our logo looks like. It looks like it's compressed a little bit. And so if you again go over to the attributes, you'll see the mode here. If you click that and uh, we're just going to go select the aspect fit ratio. And that's basically going to take the box, it's going to take the image and fit it within for the same aspect ratio of our image there. So after you've got your image on the screen, you can go and click off of it and you'll see the colors are, are directly reflected. When they're selected, it's a little bit odd, um, just to, so you know. So go ahead and select it one more time, and we'll show you a few more things that you can do. If you go down within the view again, um, you can change the alpha, and the alpha is the transparency of the image, so we can make it so it's barely visible, um, and that's just a feature that uh, you can use. So we'll leave it at 0.8 for now. The other thing you can do is you can set the background color, and depending on if it's a PNG or whatever type of um, image that you have in there, you can see that you can set a background. 
Ours is a PNG, so the background's transparency, so it actually looks good. If you have a JPEG, you, it may be white around your image, um, and you guys can mess with that. So that's the basics of, of throwing an image within there or putting a background color. One thing you may keep in mind is you can have an image over an image, um, and by doing so, like let's just uh, let's just insert another logo on top of it. By doing so, you could have let's say a background. You could have a background image, and then you also have maybe a, a logo on top of it if you want two different layers. So that's definitely possible. As you can see, you can select which one is on the front by uh, either moving these to organize which one you want on top, which layer you want on top. The other way you could do it is go up to, let's see, editor, and you can go to arrange and send it to the front or the back depending on where you're at. So you can select different items and uh, arrange it. Let's just say we'll send this one to the back. So it's the, the back layer. So if you did want to put a backdrop or uh, an image on top of it, that's how you do it. Alright, we'll catch you guys later in the uh, awesome e-learning. Thank you, Martin.